we come back to this moment because it's the only place to come back to. It's kind of that simple, like when we return home or we return to the source, we return to this, there's no other, so what else would we do? It's not like there are other thises. There aren't any different experiences that you could be having than the one that you're having right now. So if this is the only experience that you could be having, how do you live that experience? What is it like? What does it look like? What actually is happening right now? If this is the only place, so right now, we're living in a world where right now I'm talking to you and you are a reflection. You are a illusion. You are an imagination. You are a, an idea. You are a word. You. We have the, the camera. We have the YouTube. We have the face. We have the environment, the background. There's, support, there's no separation between YouTube and cameras and phones and Wi-Fi and human faces and whatever is behind me. Green trees and leaves. There's no separation between these things. There's no separation between the white blue sky and the green brown grass. No separation between those things. This is all that there is. It's just this one experience. And n yeah, I'm not on, I mean, am I on drugs? You could ask me and I might tell you that I'm not. <laughs> so, you know, so this is like sobriety, right? When you get real clear and you get real sober, it's like, well, okay, there's nowhere else to go. So the reality that you're experiencing right now, it's like you've got to sit there and ask yourself, well, what am I doing? What, or what is this? What is this? And it's not an idea. It's not something that's happening in some other time or space. It's like, and it's not something that you're, that's happening in you. It's not happening inside of you. It's not happening outside of you. It's not happening, there's no, orientation, there's no direction, there's no like separating line, there's no space, there's no... When you use English language to try to describe this, it's so easy to get caught up in the words and to then get caught up in your mind and your thinking. And it's actually just like simply, this is just, you can't, you can't think about it. You, you, you can't really think about it. You can't talk about it. You can't um, internalize it. You don't want to internalize it because it's not something that's external. So you're not like taking in a message, right? I'm talking to you right now. You're talking to me or I'm listening to you or you're listening to me or, I mean, those are four different things, but what's actually happening right now? <laughs> what's actually happening right now? Because I'm sitting here, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm sitting in a yard. What is a yard? Well, that's up to you. You can use your imagination. But I'm sitting in a yard. And there's a fly that's buzzing around my head. And there's a fly on my head right now. <laughs> there is a tripod in front of me. And I'm motioning towards you because you're sitting there watching me, right? But what I'm seeing right here is a black tripod and a black camera. 
in the middle of a field of green. Okay, so so that's my reality, uh, and you're also in my reality, and I'm also in your reality, and so what you're looking at is probably a, a phone or a computer screen or a TV screen or something, you know? Um, that's all very conceptual, though. Because the spaciousness is one perspective. That is all that it is. And it's incredibly useful because it allows breathing to happen and it allows relaxation to happen. And we have to feel safe when opening to when opening. <laughs> 